Today, I will show you how to clean the carburetor and check the compression of the 3.5 horsepower Nissan outboard motor. Before I continue, I want to clarify that the same outboard motor has been sold under other brands such as Taihatsu, Suzuki, Avinrude, Johnson, Nissan, Mercury, and others. For most brands, the difference is only in the label, but for others like Johnson, there is a change in the cover, providing easier access for motor servicing. The first outboard motor of this model was produced in 1985, and despite it being hard to believe, it is still in production and is offered on the European market for €1,140. It is available as a 2.5 horsepower and a 3.5 horsepower model, with minimal differences between the two, visually identical. The engine of this outboard motor is a single-cylinder two-stroke 75 cubic centimeters with forced water cooling using an impeller. Maximum RPM varies among different models but does not exceed 5,300. It can use fuel with octane ratings from 87 to 91, with the addition of 50 to 1 two-stroke engine oil. The fuel tank capacity is 1.4 liters or around half gallon. The carburetor is almost identical to those on mopeds and borrows many parts from them. The ignition is electronic, CDI, and the motor is started with a recoil starter. The recommended spark plug is NGK BP6S10 or Champion L87YC with a 1mm gap. The lower unit is sealed and lubricated with oil. The outboard motor is offered in both short shaft and long shaft versions, determining the weight. The short shaft, made of aluminum alloy for freshwater, weighs 12.5 kilograms or 28 pounds. The long shaft is also made of corrosion-resistant aluminum alloy for saltwater and weighs 13 kilograms or almost 29 pounds. The difference is negligible. There is a significant difference in gear ratio between short shaft and long shaft. The long shaft has higher torque to move heavier boats. In most modifications, the engine is continuously connected to the propeller, meaning that once the engine starts, the movement is instantly transmitted to the propeller. There is also a modification with a neutral and forward gear, mainly in long shaft versions. Reverse is achieved by rotating the engine 180 degrees. This is actually one of the major drawbacks of this outboard motor. Another main drawback is the throttle control, which is not managed by the steering handle. Spare parts can be easily obtained from many places, facilitating maintenance. I hope the information has been comprehensive. Now, before I let you watch the video, I want to invite you to subscribe to the YouTube channel Boat Motors, for which I thank you.
Everything you see is varnish and dried two-stroke oil. I will fill the tank with a bit of gasoline and mineral spirits. This way, I will let them sit for a few hours to absorb it. I know you can't see the spark, but I want to assure you that it's there. Don't forget to rinse the carburetor with water.
I hope this video has been helpful to you. In the next episode, I will show you how to change the impeller. Thank you for watching the video and for subscribing to the Boat Motors channel.